Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about something very exciting. We're going to talk about marginalized groups in Dungeons and Dragons, but we're gonna we're gonna refresh. You know, we're gonna talk about something fresh, something hot, something new, right? Um, marginalized groups, victimized, don't have the ability, don't have power, right? Blah 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 blah, right? Like old story, old story, old story, right? Right here, we're talking about new stories. We're talking about fresh stories. We're talking about innovative stories, right? Because we don't want our we don't want to tell like X Men in the '80s told a very powerful story, right? And talked about marginalized groups, right? And had something fresh to set today. One of the issues that Disney is dealing with right now is if you told the same stories for the if you took the X Men stories and you tried to tell the same stories they were telling in the '80s, it would look ridiculous because things have changed, right? So, um, so what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about marginalized representing marginalized groups in the fiction of our Dungeons and Dragons games and recognizing something about marginalized groups that is taught to us by the show Wednesday, which is the brand new Netflix 2022 show about Wednesday of the Adams, about Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. Brilliant, brilliant show. Spoilers for Wednesday 2022 in this content. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about this absolutely brilliant point that Wednesday shows us as Dungeon Masters to remember when we represent marginalized groups in fiction. Okay, so so Wednesday makes an incredible point about marginalized groups. I couldn't tell what marginalized group they're talking about. If you could, you know, I, it wasn't, but here's the issue. You don't need to know what marginalized group they're talking about in Wednesday, what actual IRL marginalized group they're talking about in, in Wednesday. So what is the fictional marginalized group? It's called the outcast. So the story in Wednesday is about Nevermore. Nevermore is uh, Nevermore Academy. Guess what Nevermore Academy is? It's a school for people who are special, right, and have special abilities. Mm, uh, Hogwarts much? Mm, Strixhaven much? Right? Like, um, so almost so so. One of the things is we have marginalized groups in Strixhaven, right? And this comes right to Dungeons and Dragons front door, right? But what, but, uh, oh, you're telling a story about marginalized people and, uh, um, and about outcasts, about marginalized people, and they're victimized and they're powerless, blah, 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 blah. I heard the story a hundred times. People are going to turn off, right? So you telling a story of a marginalized group isn't new, isn't fresh. It's been done a hundred times at this point, right? So why is Wednesday absolutely fascinating and, and crushing it when it's telling this old style story? Because it abandons the old, Okay. So, outcasts. So, Nevermore Academy. Outcasts. Who are the outcasts? Vampires, werewolves, gorgons, sirens, witches. The list goes on. There's a few other types of creatures in there. Creatures of the night. Right? Oh, outcasts. Marginalized groups. Oh, people are going to show up and you're a werewolf and they're going to chase you into the forest. Oh, you're a vampire. Oh, everybody fears your blood. So, blah, 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 blah. Outcasts. Marginalized. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Not new. Right? old as time, boring as dirt, okay? What's really interesting that Wednesday does, which we have to remember in our Dungeons & Dragons to go here is, what happens when a marginalized group is no longer marginalized, right? And that's exactly, they head straight into this in Wednesday. And they say, oh, and actually, the head of the Never One More, Never, um, Actually, the head of the Never, uh, Nevermore Academy and the students both openly discuss this. They're like, yeah, we, we were outcasts. Uh, we used to have a lot of problems. But guess what we did? We allied ourselves with real-world political forces. And now we're powerful. We're no longer marginalized. We can do whatever we want in this town. This podunk town that with that Nevermore Academy is next to, we own it. <laughs> like, we can do what we want, right? Like, essentially, you know, they don't literally own the land, but they're so well-respected, and there is so much interest in this outcast group that they have reached the point of power, and these outcasts are no longer outcasts, and they are no longer marginalized. They are sought after and privileged. That's fascinating. That is new. So what's our what's what do we need to learn from this as dungeon masters? Let's let's do Warforged, okay? Ooh, Warforged! Those dirty, those terrible Eberron humans, man! They took you and they forged you for war, and now you're marginalized and you have to go fight the Eberron war and blah 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 blah. And it was hard for a while. 
Is it hard now, Warforged? I don't know, right? See, what what happened? Well, people figured out uh, you don't get, it's very hard to charm you. Uh, You don't suffer from poison. You don't, uh, like, gas attacks don't hurt you. Uh, Also, you don't sleep, right? And you're made out of metal and wood, which is super good for any kind of martial class, right? And, uh, yeah, and you guys are now highly sought after in every realm as, and you've traveled every realm and you've shown your value. Oh, and your marginalized status, and you ain't marginalized no more, right? You're actually sought after and you're privileged, right? That's interesting. That is interesting. Now, what lesson do we learn from Wednesday? Well, when a marginalized group is actually reaches the point where it's no longer marginalized, they ain't gonna admit to it. <laughs> so people are gonna try to continue to put, to claim marginalized privileges long after they are no longer marginalized. And they're gonna be at the point where they're actually collecting privileges from strong, strong alignment with real powerful uh, politicians, right? and mainstream acceptance, but still trying to collect them marginalized checks, right? Cultural checks, right? So we have to realize that. And so like, you might have a war force like, I was pressed into service and oh, I was was marginalized. Are you marginalized now? I heard that your group like recruited you and like took spelljammer ships across three realms to find a war forged fighter. You marginalized? I don't think so right? So this is interesting. This is where the rubber meets the road, people, right? Telling stories about marginalized people who defeat marginalization. That is fresh. That is cool. That is tier one Dungeons and Dragons, right? It's happening on Wednesday. If you're a dungeon master, get thine self to Wednesday and watch that whole thing, man. It is good. It is very good. Also, if there's, there's a million things out there, there's a story break at if you watch the first five episodes of Wednesday, that's a complete story, and you don't have to watch six, seven, and eight. I highly recommend them, but just realize there's two story blocks right in there, and it's Wednesday is banging. That show is on fleek. It is very, very cool, and you should watch it because it's telling something fresh, something new, something cool. So we have marginalized groups in Dungeons and Dragons. There's a path to defeat marginalization, right? But also realize when a marginalized group is no longer marginalized, they don't want to admit that. (laughs) Like like that's that's not that's not comfortable, right? And this transformation, this edge, right? That's where the best stories are told. All that's my humble opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Uh, Eager to hear your humble opinion in the comments below on all of this. Please consider like subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.